We're already live. <laughs> Action. <laughs> that was my impression of uh, Wayne's World. <laughs> Nailed it. Thanks. <laughs> um, so, hello everyone. Welcome to our first on the bar session with Old Elk Distillery. Uh, I'd like to welcome Kevin Ott, who is a local bartender here in Fort Collins, and uh, myself, Melinda Maddox. Uh, I work for Old Elk, and I'm very lucky to um, be given this platform to showcase our On the Bar series. So uh, you might be curious, what is the On, bar, on the Bar series? Uh, it is our Old Elk series where we're taking actual bartenders and giving them the opportunity to do a guest shift with us and allowing them to make some cocktails for us, tips and training, uh, talk about where they're from, a little bit about basically sitting across from them at the bar. Um, and the idea is that we wanted to do something that was impactful and personal um, in this time. We know there's a lot of people who are struggling in the hospitality business. Um, bartenders are, are you know, bread and butter as well as also the people who you go to when you have something, you know, exciting to share or something sad to share, life events. Um, sometimes they just are what, you know, you need to see and talk to to get through the day. And so, um, Kevin, I'm really excited to have you here on the bar with me because uh, you're one of those people that I've always enjoyed um, seeing across the bar and okay. it's a pleasure. So welcome. Thank you. And, I'm still uh, Just to do a little uh, icebreaker here. So um, we thought we would just do some two truths and a lie. Um, so do you have uh, have some some things to share about yourself? And I'm gonna try, so basically sure. I'm gonna try to guess which one is a, yeah. a lie. And if I get it correct, you're gonna make us a cocktail. If I don't get it correct, then I'll have to make a cocktail. Okay, these might all be lies, but we'll. <laughs> okay, <All right. laughs> you have a very trustworthy uh, face, so. Yeah, 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 a face for this, perfect. Um, <laughs> okay, let's see, I, I once broke my femur. Okay, that's um, gruesome. Um, I'm a certified scuba instructor. Only in Colorado, there's not a whole lot of scuba going on, so I don't get to do it as much. And uh, I, I mean, that though. yeah, I guess there's the reservoir, but you know, it's not. There's no <laughs> shipwrecks. It's not the same. Um, and I once bartended an event for John Cusack, Joan Cusack, Harold Ramis, and uh, Lars Ulrich of Metallica. So. Okay, there, cool. There you have it. All right, so um, something that uh, you might not know about Kevin is that he's also a musician, um, and he plays in a local band here in Fort Collins. So I totally believe that you have bartended an event uh, for John Kuzak and Metallica. I'm I, envious. So I'm going to say that's a truth. Yeah, that, that's a truth. Okay. When was this? In Chicago, though. I don't think Lars Ulrich comes to Colorado. <laughs> no, I mean we've got a pretty lively uh, music scene here in Fort Collins. Right, one of the, best in the country actually. So very true. It could happen, right? <laughs> if we ever right. get out of this lockdown. Yeah. All right. So certified scuba instructor. I mean, I know you travel a lot. You're on the road with the band. Um, mm -hmm. You're a man of many talents. <laughs> so I think that could be true. However, uh, I know that you don't know how to swim. So that's a lot. <laughs> oh man. It depends how much of you know old elk whiskey I have. I swim like a <laughs> <tent>. <laughs> um, Okay, you're not saying it's a lie or a truth, so I'm gonna keep moving on. No, um, you want to snatch your? What's that? No, you're down to the last two. I'll let you know after you you know talk okay. about. Okay. All right. So you want to snatch your femur in half? Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like that's something that you wouldn't want to lie about, but. Um, hmm. Okay, so it's either you are a scuba diver, you are a scuba instructor, mm. or you snap your finger in half. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with it. You're the lie is that you're a scuba instructor. You're, you're correct. I, I, I I'm terrified of water. <laughs> really, you're in the right place. Then Colorado yeah, is very dry. That's why I moved here. I'm, I'm, I'm safe. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that means that you're gonna make us a cocktail then, right? Yeah, I can do that. I've got, I've, okay. I've got things. What do you, what do you got for us? Well, one of my favorite cocktails for a long time has been the whiskey sour. Um, but I found this take on a whiskey sour. Whiskey sours for me can be a little too tart. Um, boy, I'm getting older and the heartburn, you know, it, it's very real. So I have discovered a drink called the Gold Rush. And um, it, it's, it's pretty simple. It's basically just, um, it, it's bourbon, 
um, honey simple syrup and um, lemon juice. It, it's pretty easy and easy to make. You can make uh, honey simple syrup at home. Just equal parts honey, equal parts water. Put it in a pot, bring it to a boil, let it cool, and you've got honey simple syrup. So awesome, awesome cocktail. And it's delicious. I guess I'm going to make you one now. Yeah. I'm hearing my delay of my shaking in the computer that weirded me out. That's okay. I was uh, clapping for you. <laughs> yeah, what so was that? A cocktail competition. We'd have to clap for you while you shake. Oh, was that what it was? Not oh. a competition, but oh, if it was. Perfect. perfect. And um, there you there you have it. And then of course, you know, I I'm a fan of the garnish with the wheel. I don't know about you guys, but I love the wheel. That is an awesome drink. Look at that. Look at the head on there. That is delicious. Nice and frothy. Good job. How's it? Uh, how's it taste? Oh, I am so excited to drink this. <laughs> mm. Back to the shaker. Where's my ice? So you want to do an ounce and a half of the peanut butter whiskey? Oh. And I'm sorry, at home pouring pouring this by eye. It's something that happens when you bartend for almost 15 years, but um. Yeah, you I know. feel like that was pretty much exactly an ounce right there. <laughs> yeah, if you're, I can if, tell. <laughs> if you really keep an eye, these are like five bucks at any grocery store. Yeah, I love those jiggers. So those are. Can you hold up the jigger, Kevin, so we can sure. see it like a little bit closer? Yeah. yeah. So for people at home, if you're not familiar with this jigger, it's a it's a bucket jigger. So as you can see, it looks like a bucket. But it's also great because it has lines on the inside that tell you exactly where to pour right. to. Right. Right. And depending on what how many ingredients are in your cocktail, you can actually like build a whole cocktail in there and make it right. in one soup, which is great. I have to dump out my old ice real quick. Okay. I didn't set up a spill stink over here. Um, throw it, throw it out the window. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, water the plant. <laughs> the squirrels will love me. And then I've just been doing a, uh, just a tablespoon of jelly, just I mean, I, I'm a great fan. I guess any kind of jelly would work. And then, oh yeah, this is breakfast. <laughs> and then much like the last drink, this one has to get shaken like crazy. Otherwise your jelly is just gonna glob in there and then it won't taste as good. All right, I'm gonna shake. I mean, I'm gonna clap. <laughs> Kevin's gonna shake. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna flash that uh, Venmo tip card for you, okay? <laughs> hey, thank you. It's kind of lame with only one person clapping. Hopefully, there's people across, you know, watching this right now clapping. Right. Well, I was thinking I played a lot of shows, but there's only like one person clapping. So that's <laughs> right. Um, that's very sad. I guess <laughs> I guess I'm used to it. Um, <laughs> and then it, then there we go. There's our delicious shot of um, or drink of uh, peanut butter and jelly. Yum. Is that a is that like a gold rim glass? It, it is nice. Those are beautiful. I, I had a I had a Mad Men phase, like every guy did, I think. So you know, I had to get these glasses. So. <laughs> and on that note, uh, is there one 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 thing about Kevin that you want to tell us, whether it be like a little secret or just something oh. like to add to that, you know, true to two truths and a, a lie. One thing about me, boy, I, I have enough drinks to answer that question. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a good one that all the bartenders will scoff at me for now. I okay. uh, I, I hate olives. <laughs> you know what? Uh, one of my mentors, uh, Sam Treadway, he hates olives too. And literally, just to like mess with him, we'd always make him like taste our dirty martinis and be like, "Is this dirty enough?" And he just uh, like, I, hate <laughs> "I will, I will eat anything. It doesn't matter. I'll try anything once. I just, I cannot do olives." Do you like pickles? I don't like, well, I like pickles. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't, I'm not crazy about them, but just it's olives is the one thing. Like I just, I, I can't do. Okay. Well, no olives here today. So yeah, that's why that's that's I do a cocktail with olives. Cause I do them. <laughs> well, Kevin, thank you very much. And I look forward to doing this again with you. 
Yes, my pleasure. Thank you. And thank you. Maybe my, minus olives and yeah. other things, but. Let's not do olives. Okay. <laughs> Raise in a glass one more time to you. Cheers. Cheers, everybody.